Let's talk about God. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about sin. And how A reading from Second Corinthians, chapter four. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. So we do not lose heart. Even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. You, I didn't want to do this. I really didn't want to do this. I thought about it for five seconds. <laughs> and, uh, well, I, I got him. Okay. Yeah. Here's some booze and here's some yays. Now, before you guys start to judge me a little bit and pick uh, favorite pastors, I want to let you know that on, two, on Wednesday morning, I caught Pastor Bart wearing an oiler uniform. <laughs> We're the same, right? We're the same. Everybody Sorry, Bart, I had to kick that back. <laughs> but you know, I was thinking about um about the Stan the Stanley Cup, right? Yeah. Yeah, so there's two teams going for the Stanley Cup. And for those all those teams are going for one thing, to win the Stanley Cup, and that's the big prize. Right? It's tough to get there. As we found out last night. You know? <laughs> So you have to win four games and then you win the Stanley Cup, but there's a lot of pain and suffering to go to the Stanley Cup. There's all kinds of injuries, there's long plane rides to get to different locations. You've got to play night, uh, most night after night, and people are exhausted because they want to get to the Stanley Cup. And some hockey players, they go through their whole NHL careers, maybe like 20 years, and they never get the prize. How sad would that be, right? Never get the big prize. And it's really interesting because there's a guy named Paul. He's the Apostle Paul. And he's always about the big prize. And what, what do you think the prize is for us as Christians if we believe in Jesus? What's the big prize? Yes, yes. God. God's a big prize, yeah. But what is the big prize that we get to look forward to that we can't see yet? Anybody know what that big prize is? Yeah. Heaven! Yeah, and okay, so is that, does that mean if we, like all of us here, that only some of us get that big prize? All of us do? Yes. Really? Isn't that cool? So if we believe in God, we get the big prize. Yes, Don't you know that? Don't I know that? Well, I'm learning. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit of a small learner. Thanks for pointing that out, buddy. Yeah. But Paul, um, he was visiting this, this place called Corinth, which is a city, and he went there one time, and he, and he got the church going, and he left. And guess what happened? The church was all in disarray. He didn't know what to do. He wasn't focusing on the, the most important things. And he said, you've got to focus on eternal glory. He says, because you're getting older, all of us are getting older, and someday when all of us die, there's this thing called eternal glory, which is really heaven. And that's the prize for us as Christians. Now, I'm going to point out one other thing, take out one other thing, because 
People are scared when everybody goes to the bag here. Okay, but this is, a, this is like, how do you get to heaven? That's the next question, right? Okay, and this is a shirt that I can't remember who bought me this. Maybe it was Erica. You see what it says? Jesus saved. Jesus saved. Yeah, so the picture of a goalie here catching a puck, of course. But, uh, is that was, Jesus? That's, that, that is Jesus, Jesus there, yeah. But uh, so, yeah, so it's Jesus saves. So we know that to get eternal glory or to get to heaven, we have to trust in who? God. God. And his son, Jesus, who saves us because he died for our sin. And so because he died for us and our sin upon the cross, we get to go to heaven. And so we have to trust and believe in that word. So again, our prize, right, is eternity, to be with God forever, and it comes through Jesus, who forgives our sins and saves us. That is a good news message. So we don't say, go, orders, go. We say, go, God, go. Right? And he continues to go and find us and to bring us into eternity through his son, Jesus. And that's good news for us. Okay? Let's pray. You pray after me, please. Dear God, thank you for heaven. Thank you for Jesus, who makes the way for us to go to heaven. We love you, Lord. Oh, man.